We hadn't meant to record this trip up to Rocky Mountain National Park, but what we found on our way home 15 minutes from our house was so adorable. We had to show you. When I have family in town, the first place I think of to take them is up to Rocky Mountain National Park. <laughs> and with my sister here, of course we had to go up. She's always, always a good luck charm in finding any cool wildlife. So we got the last minute timed entry tickets for the afternoon and headed up to try to get to the Alpine Visitor Center at the very, very top of Trail Ridge Road. We found that we were driving past a lot of things that we would normally stop at. Just past this point, there is this called Rock Cut, and there's typically a bighorn sheep just off to the left here. And there was. Oh, there was one, but we went right on past and kept going up Trail Ridge Road. I do have to pause at this point and tell you that if you are watching this the day that it airs, Tomorrow is August 1st, 2022, which is when September tickets open for Rocky Mountain National Park, the most visited time in the park with elk rut and the beginning of the fall colors. So be sure you are at your computer to get the timed entry tickets for Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado if you plan to go in during peak hours in September. And remember, Bear Lake Corridor is even earlier in the morning. So just a friendly reminder, get those tickets. We have a whole video on this channel talking to you about the tickets. So check that out. Right next to the visitor center, we spotted this one elk laying in the field with the mountains behind him. So majestic. Then we headed back down the mountain and of course had to stop at the place where all of the marmots are because we had a little bit of a beef with them. Last year when I brought my sister up to Rocky, she was wearing her Crocs with the little gibbet flower on it and we're sure, we're sure one of these pesky marmots snuck up behind her and stole it. So I have vowed to figure out this crime ever since. So we did have to stop and question several marmots. Is it him? It's a marmot. Are yeah. you trying to bury my gibbet? Did you steal it? He's, He's not talking. Us. He's See? totally not talking. I know you did it. I know you know who did it. Back on the road on our way home late in the evening, we got to about 15 minutes from home and saw this. Some of this footage was filmed with my sister's iPhone, so please forgive any graininess and the late hour made it pretty dark to film. But I don't know if you could see what we're seeing just by the freeway on the mountainside are big horn sheep, a whole entire family, a whole bunch of little babies and adults. We could not believe our luck. So even though we had to crank our ISO pretty high and had fairly dark exposure, it was so worth Holy cow. attempting to photograph this very, very young big horn sheep family. <laughs> <laughs> are those big hard sheep? Yeah. They are? <gasps> There's another one! I know! Needless to say, we were completely enthralled. My sister out taking video with her iPhone. Steve captured some footage on the Sony A7R4, which we'll show you. And I'm just trying to click away with my Sony A1. Steve and I both using the 200, 600 millimeter lens, which was perfect here. But the light was sure fading fast. I didn't think I would get anything out of these pictures, but really, really loved the entire evening experience.
I think in total we counted four of the babies scattered throughout this rock face, but we never could get all of them in one image. With it being so dark out and shooting at at least 3,200 to 5,000 ISO, I really held out no hope that we'd have any still images in the end. But we were very shocked when we loaded them up onto the computer and found such adorable images. They blended in so well with the rocks that it was really hard to even see them from the street. But Steve had everything set up just right with the A7R4 and really was able to spot them. So some of our very favorite images are from Steve and one we like so much of Little Family that we printed it and hang it on our wall. Can you even get enough of all these antics? This is incredible. I hope you enjoyed this adorable surprise ending to this unplanned video for you and all of the rest of the images. There is no bad day to be up in Rocky Mountain National Park. Trust me, if you ever have an inkling to visit here, you will see something amazing. We're hoping to go back up here a couple more times this summer and of course up into the fall. So make sure that you liked this video and you're subscribed to the channel if that sounds interesting to you. All right, we'll see you in the next video.